Let's move on to the next agenda item, the aircon upgrade. Well, everyone is aware of how unreliable our air conditioning system is, not only in the kitchen, but in the playrooms and the sleeping areas. It doesn't seem to cope when temperatures rise above 30 degrees. Don't you think it's high time we did something about it? Well, all I know is I'm not looking forward to another summer. It was embarrassing when I couldn't make it work. I had a mother watching me hopelessly pressing the remote. It's not yeah. a good look for our centre. What, what do other people think? Well, I know it did break down twice last summer, mm -hmm. but we fixed it quickly and it is less than five years yeah. old. Do we really need to replace it? It would be thousands. And I know a lot of you harp on about the environment. Isn't getting rid of a perfectly fine aircon wasteful? Yes, I agree. We have to stop our waste. Did you see the chuck out last month? Well, you could have missed it. It was a mile high. Actually, I was thinking of the environment and thinking that we need to consider our carbon output, especially in light of the carbon tax. That air conditioner doesn't even have a star rating on it. But I'm not proposing a new air conditioner. Well, what is it you're proposing? I'm proposing opening windows, fresh air, insulation and overhead fans. Don't you think it's socially irresponsible if we continue using that air conditioner that it consumes so much energy? So if I understand correctly, you want to get rid of the air conditioner? Yes, exactly. Okay, look, I'm all into being green. I mean, some of my friends even call me a greeny lefty, but how are we supposed to possibly work without air conditioning? How ironic. The greeny wanting an air conditioner. I can't believe that. Well, I have to agree with Jane on this one. As you know, look, I was against the carbon tax, and I, and I admit, I'm no greenie, but we absolutely can't work with our aircon. At last, we have, we have found common ground, Jane. Look, I understand where you're coming from, but we don't actually know how hot or cold this building is without air conditioning and with insulation, fans and open windows. We owe it to our children to at least try. Where do you stand on this, Sandra? Well, I think it's an interesting proposal, but I really don't think we can work without an aircon. I don't understand why all of you think this is impossible. We live close to the sea and near fresh air. The aircon just spreads all those germs all over and frankly I'm sick of breathing dirty air. Actually, with the introduction of a carbon tax and rising costs, that may not be a bad idea. Yes, well, you're absolutely right. I'm glad you agree, Samir, even if for other reasons. Jane, what are you thinking? Well, I can understand the cost factor, but what about the human factor? The heat is going to kill us. Don't jump the gun. As Petra said, we don't really know whether the building will be cool or not. And if it works, we could be up for an environmental award at next year's awards night. Ugh. Well, it is double brick, you know, and all the playrooms are facing south. The coolest aspect. That's a good point. It's the coolest combination. Look, what have we got to lose? Let's give it a four-month trial period. I would like everyone's support on this. I'm willing to try life without aircon for the sake of the environment. Well, I, don't know, I guess I, I guess I've been outnumbered. I'll give it a go. Well. I'm really proud of you all for thinking of the environment first. 
I don't know if they were all thinking of the environment. Well, we all agreed. Thank you, Petra, for suggesting such an innovative idea. Now, on the next item. John's looking at lighting and paving. Have you thought about solar? 